Mr. Come figure it out With the sonic system Mr. Come figure it out With the sonic system Come figure it out With the sonic system Question number three. Why did he write them? Sonnets have become really quite popular, especially towards the end of the 16th century. They were just a really great way to express various different thoughts and emotions and feelings and concepts through a nice succinct short poem. And he used to perform them, sometimes he, he wrote them as letters, he read them aloud apparently, sometimes. It's just a nice different approach than writing an entire play. It's a completely different format and I think he probably just enjoyed having a different way to look at things and like I say they were really popular at that time. Sort of maybe a bit like Snapchat of the day, the Elizabethan Snapchat. Question four, along with why did he write them, who did he write them for? Now this is a particularly interesting question and the answers have changed quite a bit over the years. Now, there are two different subjects that he refers to in his sonnets. One is the young man and he is referred to in sonnets 1 to 126 and the second is the dark lady uh, and she's referred to in sonnets 127 up to 154 or 156 depending on your opinion. Some say that all the rest of the sonnets from 127 onwards to the end are all about the Dark Lady. But some other people do say that the last two sonnets seem to be completely irrelevant to the rest of the sonnet sequence and have a very different tone to them. Uh, and so some people claim that actually 127 to 154 are referring to this Dark Lady and that the last two are just completely different. Now tied in with the why, it is, again, generally acknowledged that Shakespeare was commissioned to write the first 17 sonnets for a young man for his 17th birthday. I'm going to refer to my notes again. They were commissioned by Mary, the second Countess of Southampton, for her son Henry for his 17th birthday. Now, what was going on at the time was uh, this guy, Henry, was refusing to marry. Some people say he was more interested in boys, who knows? And there was a fine at the time, if you didn't marry, of 5,000 pounds, which in today's money is like two and a half million pounds. If you refused uh, an aristocratic arranged marriage, his family were not impressed with him. So they commissioned Shakespeare to write the 17 sonnets to try to persuade young Henry to get married and to have children, basically. So that will help us to make sense of the first 17 when we come to them. Now the really interesting thing is that when the sonnets were published in 1609, possibly without Shakespeare's consent, because they weren't published by him, they were actually published, and I'm going to refer to my notes, by... by Thomas Thorpe along with Shakespeare's long poem, The Passionate Pilgrim. They were published at the same time. And when the sonnets were published, they had a dedication page on the front. And the, ded the dedication reads, To the only begetter of these ensuing sonnets, Mr. W. H., all happiness and that eternity promised by our ever-living poet wisheth the well-wishing adventurer in setting forth. T.T. That's Thomas Thorpe. There were all kinds of speculations for years about who this W.H. was and it was assumed that W.H. was the young man that Shakespeare refers to in these sonnets that he seems to have quite an intense romantic relationship with and it was assumed it would be um, uh, William Herbert, the Earl of Pembroke, who also has been said to be the one who the sonnets were commissioned for, so I, I'm a little bit hazy on that, I'll be honest. Recently, just in 2015, there was an article in The Guardian about some new evidence that has come up about who this W.H. probably was. It's now suggested that W.H. was not William Herbert, the Earl of Pembroke, but in fact William Home. And William Home was an associate of Thomas Thorpe, who published the, the poems in 1609, who had died just a couple of years before they were published. And this kind of makes a lot more sense, especially because the dedication says Mr. And actually to refer to uh, someone like William Herbert, who was aristocratic as Mr. would have been quite insulting. And so it makes much more sense that an associate of the, uh, the publisher, Thomas Thorpe, 
that he would be referred to as Mr. And obviously he ran in those circles as well. He ran in theatrical circles and all this. So he had those connections um, and he died a couple of years before, which makes sense of all the references of death that go on. I'm still not sure about the whole romantic relationship, uh, romantic relationship thing that's going on or how that ties in to the commission um, that people talk about of the first 17, but something very interesting to think about. But there we go. For now, there's a little bit of context surrounding uh, when Shakespeare wrote them, why he wrote them, and what the structure of a sonnet actually is. As for the specifics of why he wrote them, I'll leave that up to your own decisions and your own imagination.